Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pillars of Eternity, of shall we? Well, um, we are in the business of going down here to explore the terrifying Endless Maze, and so let's do that. It might be that the quickest path is to use that cellar door entrance at this point. But I still have a lot uh, to do down here. So I need to go, I need to start from this floor because I have to clear out the entire thing. So let's do that. Audra man, how you doing? All right. Okay, so now we will hey there. take our rogue and turn her into stealth. And we're going to save it. And we're going to go over here and start exploring these other parts of this floor. Okay, there's a Zari guy. And there's another worm, which is, you know, pretty much standard fare. That's fine. Let's get the whole group over here. And let's just go for it on this guy. Alright. It's funny that, like, if we just focus fire with the crossbows and everything and get a few hits on, it's over. It's over for them. It's great. Alright. So, we'll take these. Um, There's, like, a dead Zarip over here. What happened, dude? This Zarip is lying in a corner of a chamber. Its ribs show starkly beneath its scaly hide, and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing it obvious discomfort. It doesn't seem to be reacting to your presence. Um, examine it. You look the creature over. There's a strange discoloration on its skin in several places, but you cannot see anything that would inform you of what ails the Zarip. Um... I'm going to put it out of its misery. The Zarat barely makes a sound. There's a muted, wet gurgle, and then the creature lies still, blood pooling beneath the withered body. Soon enough, its eyes are glassy, empty of life. Did what we had to. You work on the farm long enough, you come to understand it, even if it's never easy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that Zarat was terrifyingly sick. Mm -hmm. um, so let's look around with sneaky mode. And there's something in these pots. Gold Rot Chew Ripple Sponge. Made from sponges found along the rocky coasts of the Ratai, Ripple Sponge is ground firmly and inhaled. It is often used on long sea voyages, for it has a soothing, calming effect which helps in tackling extended periods of strenuous activity. Okay. So it boosts your endurance ridiculously. It's actually, I mean, that's 10% maximum endurance is a good bit. So that's a really good, you know, performance enhancing drug to consider. What's this? Lock picks, huh? Okay. We'll take some lock picks. All right. She found another Zarip. So what we do is we just get the group, we bring the whole band in, and we just send them around the corner, and instantly we're fighting. Oh god. We found way more than we bargained for. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's get this going. Yep. Okay, this is a lot of worms, which is bad. So we need to start throwing in... Um, you know, absolutely the most magic that we have. Uh, gee, they're going to have to get really close, though, to do this. Let's try to clean out these. How may I help? Actually, you can throw a fireball. Can you hit these dudes with a fireball right now? And then mm -hmm. um, we need you to kill whatever is up here. Okay, good. And let's see. Jesus. 
Let me just chill a deer. I mean, I had no shot to bring him back. I don't know if this will work or not. It did. Okay, you can actually bring him back with that spell. All right, so... Aloth got knocked yeah. out for doing his fireball. We're going to switch grimoires. Um, and no, no fireball. Okay, so the dream there appears to have died, but we'll see. Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, all right. Go back to my other book then. Um, and then... Yeah. You attack here. You attack here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Kill this thing. Everybody, everybody, just kill this. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to start dropping the biggest spells we've got on these fools. Heal up, Adir. Um... How many chance you at, dude? Three? Okay. Let's drop in this uh, up here. Wow. Use your second wind. Yeah, I, I'm i not going to be able to win this. I'm going to just um, load my auto save. No, my quick save. Um, I'm going to have to replay some, but... There's no way I can take that fight in that configuration. They completely... Oh, I know I pushed a quick save faster than this, didn't I? Uh, I guess not. This one. Okay, here we go. So, unfortunately, we will have to replay some, but it's not a huge deal. It's just, uh, they were able to get their melee fighters out in front, and I stupidly went to engage them, and what that meant is that those worms were able to just rain fire upon us, and that is something that just can't happen. The worms themselves aren't that bad. You just need to dedicate all your attention on them or it's over. They don't have that many hit points is, I guess, what I mean to say. Hey all right. There. So let's go into scout. I'll take a peek. Take a peek. We'll just re repeat this. Um, examine, cut, done, done. Take... It's going to be terrible when I find, like, some medicine that could easily heal him. Sure. Um, but, you know, they attack on sight anyway. I don't know. I did have good negotiations with Azarip one time earlier in the game. I do recall that. All right, I'm going to leave my group right here. And then I'm going to send out hey. a deer to just go meander... with the bad guys and lure them back here. All right, let's go All for right, it. Then. Let's see what they got. All right. So, I don't know how many of them are going to come, but... Okay, good. So they all came. Hey there. But there's only one worm right now that's looking... Oh, no, no, they're back there and we can't see them. All right, this is bad. All right, so yes. we need to start hitting um, the worms. Hey there. You need to hit the worm. Hey there. You need to also hit the worm. Everybody up. You what need to hit the worm. Okay. So now we can see them. Uh, have you used your magic kit? There we go. Fireball this, and then yeah. we need another one of these, and then mm -hmm. hit it, and hit it. 
All right. Okay. Use your second wind. They're focusing on you. All right. Looks like we killed one of them. Hey there. All right. I need uh this. I don't know. I'll try it. I never use it. And then we can drop this over here too. Ah, you're getting picked off by this dude who came back here, huh? All right. Um, yeah, I can see how that's most inconvenient. Um, let's see. We still need to finish off this guy, though. Following your lead. I'd like this summoned. Hmm? I'd like you hey. and you to somehow hit this, if possible. Um, okay, let's see. Hey Can there. you hit this? Does that mean you're reloading? Jesus. All right. Hmm? Try and heal Aloth. Can we kill this champion? Not really, apparently. Um... Can anybody kill that? Yeah. That spell didn't ever seem to go off. What about this? Just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aloth, use your draining spell. Try to get some hit points back for yourself. Okay, there's some. And then... Did you do it? You did it. I need you to attack... Uh, the worm is dead. You're on this. Hey there. You're on this. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Hit this. How may I help? Did you do it? All right. Good. You're getting healed. Yeah. Heal Adir. Um. Okay. Missiles. This guy. <laughs> Hey there. Do you have anything left that would be helpful? Yeah, shock. Uh, shock this guy. And then... How may I help? Yeah, drop this here. Yeah. And... Um, kill this. Alright, let's see. How are we doing now? I'm going to zoom in big time. Alright. Bam, bam, bam. Got him. Oh, you finally got that spell cast. Boy, that took forever. Everybody hit this. Okay, and then hit this. Wow, the reload animation on the crossbows is awesome. I have to say. It's really cool. We got him. Alright. That was not without danger, but we did it. Yeah, I'm going to want some of my spells back, probably. So, we need to rest anyway, because I, of course. I'm, i like, greedily just trying to get to building the keep. Hey there. I'm going to go over here and just pick this pocket, see what's in this little uh, burial receptacle. There's a crossbow and some money. Okay, cool. Let's camp out. We're going to heal up. My man's health is low. She's at half health. And we have only one third level spell left. Uh, so let's just camp. Now you can get all kinds of stuff. That's pretty crazy. Um, and I don't think... You know, we're fighting a lot of... Wilders. So let's get a bonus against wilder let's get uh, a now damage reduction is still probably okay yeah alright and we'll rest have a good campfire just basically relax chill out alright then I'm going to save it. See? 
I learned eventually, and then we can keep exploring. Let's take mm -hmm. the rogue and just send her around on an adventure. Let's go down this way, see what's going on. Oh, here's a, a person. Oh, that's gonna be the scar. oh my god. She died, and we woke people up. All right, so this is why um, you quick save it. Huh? You do that because when you trigger a trap, <laughs> you don't want to instantly die. All right, so that was dangerous. Oops, okay, I just need her, and I want you to come along. Maybe this time you can detect it. There you go. You did it. All right. Give me a real challenge. Wow, that was a lot of experience on that trap. What you got? Um, ooh, hand and key. Unique medium armor and Pharamon's curse. This rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrawls. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was a S plan from the start. Merrick, gleeful as a toddler, convinced we were going to talk to the Zarups into helping us fill our pockets. Help Andrus right into a great big pit, more like. And now you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me up to my armpits in bones and Zarup excrement. I hope you all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and Drafton loses what's left of his wits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left, and you run. Curse each and every one of you, and curse me too for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling pisspots. Here's for when one of you rotten lizard jerks learns some adiran. I hope you all freaking choke. Wow. Nothing like a really angry, vitriolic profane letter. Alright, we'll take this and we'll take that. That armor has got to be good. I'm going to examine what... Um, I'm going to examine the armor itself like up a little closer. Oh gosh, she's got... Oh. Whoops, I didn't even... I'm like walking around with good items that I didn't even realize that I had. Hey yo, that's embarrassing. Okay, what do you got? What is this? Um, oh, that's right. Never mind. It's only usable by rangers. So let's just like... Uh, what? Yeah, shift click puts it away. Um, dart trap. Potion of spirit shield. Mail armor. Helmet. Fine pike. Mm, what are you using as your weapon? A sword, but you have a shield. Yeah, okay. You actually have a good sword. It's like a flaming sword or something. What are you rolling? Oh, you have this gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's just put this away. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Just tidying the old inventory. Okay. Now, I got this new armor, which is... Um, worn by Para, uh, Pefril, a paladin of the kind wayfarers, this breastplate bears an elegant relief of two hands, presenting a key. Pefril commissioned the armor to demonstrate his dedication to the idea of opening paths and doors for those who might otherwise find the passage too dangerous. While his devotion to the order dictated almost every facet of the man's life, Pe uh, Pefril was also a faithful adherent of the god Bereth, and the hand and key served as a personal reminder that the final door he opened would bring him into his, the god's keeping. All right, so that's a lot of cool description about this armor. Let's see, it helps against um, being charmed, dominated, or confused. Uh, it's very good. It, it has bad recovery speed. Um... But that's okay um, for a tank. So let me just just see. Like, what are you? What armor are you wearing? This is. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, 
it does grant second chance once per rest, which is actually okay. So then maybe what armor are you wearing? All right, yeah, you can wear this. This is a this is better for you. Ooh, it even looks cool. Great. Um, and then how do you feel about this hat? It looks good. What kind of hat do you have on? Yeah, you need a helmet. You're up in the front there, dude. All right, great. Let me drop in some of this stuff. We don't need to be carrying around quite so much riffraff. All right. Oh, this is the stiletto. And... It's probably good. But... Um, it's his weapon mm. actually this has, doesn't look that bad I don't know if you're good with stilettos though alright okay so we're gonna just um reorganize ourselves now that we got that taken care of we know that there's bad guys uh moving over here so why not just take hey. adir and get him to pull guys out toward us right let me just uh save it first so we don't you know die horribly without a way to come back all right so let's try and pull these all right then folk out but we're only going to select hey. a deer from this point all right then and hopefully we don't step into any traps okay so let's just run away and run 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 and then now we go all right hey there so big bad boy is going to be back there and that's fine yes we're going to drop some aoe here following your lead but i need you to shoot and you to shoot and then huh? you can just jump up and engage here. Okay. That sort of worked. Let's try this. And How let's try I? this. Okay. All right. And then now that these are dead, um, let me just take my wizards and try to shoot this guy down. There we go. All right. And then we'll just... Focus fire on this champ. Everybody. Champion's tough. Standing in there. Like a... Well, like a champ. Right? You see what I did? Alright, let's get this skirmisher. Got it. Crushed. Sweet. Alright, let's get everybody back here and lick our wounds, shall we? All right. So that was good. Yeah. Send her out. I'll take a peek. Yeah, let's be sneaky. Let's take a peek. Let's get all this treasure. Um. Oh. Oh. I mean, Adra's always okay. It doesn't really sell for that much. I don't know if I can use this for crafting or soul work later, but when I start to get these, oh, Valoon. Valoon's namesake is a yellow orange fruit found in Old Valia. These clear gemstones bear a similar yellow-orange color and are often cut like rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. Most of the world's known Valoon mines have long since dried up and the stone has become one of the most sought after in recent years. It really has. That's a lot of money. Take I it. I think of a better place for this stuff. Okay. That must be the dialogue she says when she has to put it into her bag, and that's fine. I should have clicked on the stash button from the take screen instead of putting all this junk in her bag. Um, all right. So you can go over here. Yep. Uh, these are lock picks. These are lock picks. Can these stack? Oh, they stack in fives. Okay. And then, well, you can do that. And then, uh, let me look at you. All right, yeah, let's give this to, put it right there. 
Perfect. All right, so I'm going to take hey there. this. We're going to save it. Let me sure. just walk over here. All right, so um, again, I'm just going to uh, take all, but we're going to put it in the stash. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to go back to the party. Um, and we'll just come out of stealth. And I'm going to save the game before we continue exploring um, this little bit of the map. We've still got this room and this central death chamber to go. And I think this is a great place to stop the episode. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you next time. And let's play Pillars of Eternity. Take care.